Hey guys, welcome back to the course Advanced Website Portfolio Techniques. I'm Wes McDowell, and this time we're going to talk all about why single page websites are a bad idea. Now, I've been seeing a lot of these one page portfolio websites for the past couple of years. They were really hyped up as just a simple way to get your work out there, but I think it can be a bad idea for a few reasons, and we'll talk about those now. The first reason is it just results in an oversimplification of what you can include on your site, which might be great if you're trying to get hired somewhere, but in the realm of freelancing, you really have to have much more information in order for potential clients to make an informed decision on whether or not to hire you or to hire somebody else. So having it too simple might seem intriguing and it might seem like it's enough but generally, people have a few more questions and they want a few more answers. So one page really limits what you can do. So if you have a multi-page site with navigation items and just different pages, you can let the clients choose what information is important to them and they can go check it out on their own. And it might be different things for different people. Not everyone is going to read every page of your website. I'm not saying that, but one person might really be interested in seeing your work. One person might be really interested in seeing some testimonials, which we'll talk about later. And if you have everything on your site that everyone could ever want, then the decision is much easier. Another reason why one page is a bad idea is because with one page, you only get one shot for potential clients to find you online because it's only one page. Whereas if you have a site that's made up of various landing pages, it gives you many different opportunities for people to find you in search engines, which is really important. And a lot of people overlook that they need to be found in searches these days more than ever. So to just have one page really limits how many keyword phrases you can be found for. And that's really going to impact how many people come to your site. And the last reason why one page sites are not recommended is because they're not easily to continually add new content whenever you want to, which I highly recommend having always having a site that you can add to as time goes on. Google rewards that and it just makes it look like you're on top of your game. If you have a website that's kind of the set it and forget it mentality that people used to have, you're really doing yourself a serious disservice. And if you were to keep adding content to a one page site, it would just get really bloated over time and it would just be way too much content to sift through and no one has time to look through pages and pages of content that's on a single page. It's, it's disorganized and it just doesn't paint you in a very professional light. Okay, so in our next video, we're gonna talk about the pages that we're gonna cover in this course. Thanks for watching.